Hello everyone, my name is Brian Crockett and I'm going to show you how to sort data using Bubble Sort, which is a simple and comparison-based sorting algorithm. In this case, we're going to be sorting this theoretical set of data of ratings of a Hamburg High School students, a Hamburg High School teachers done by students. In this case, this data is theoretical, made up, and real, and should not be taken seriously. Let's get started. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's get started with learning how to use bubble sort. So in this case, we want to sort our data from least to greatest. So in this case, I want to line my data up in a list or like an array-like pattern. And once we got that, I can now begin comparing. So to get started with bubble sort, bubble sort works by comparing two data values and then moving it up or down depending on whether it's above or below that data value. So in this case, we'll be comparing the first and second data value. Our first data value is a Malonic, which is 9.2, and our second data value is a Chen, which is 7.8. Since 7.8 is less than 9.2, and since we're sorting this data from least to greatest, it should be above 9 above 9.2. So we need to swap the data points. Next, we'll compare Malonic to Vente. Vente has a score of 9.4 and Malonic has a score of 9.2. Since 9.2 is less than 9.4 and is above 9.2 right now, we do not have to worry about that data point. Next, let's worry about the next two data points. Vente versus Nguyen. Nguyen has a score of 8.6 and Vente has a score of 9.4. Since 8.6 is less than 9.4, it should be above 9.4. So swap 8.6 and 9.4. We'll continue this trend until we get to the bottom of the list. Okay, we've gotten to the bottom of the list. So in this case, we've compared every data value against 9.4 and they're all less than 9.4. Therefore, we have just isolated the largest value inside our data set. In this case, this is Vente 9.4 and I'll put it right here inside our data bubble as I like to call it. This is our data bubble, which we, which I would call the sorted area. So in this case, once we got the sorted area or data bubble started, we can now go back into our data set and do the exact same thing. Since we found our largest data value inside the data set, we can find the second largest data value inside our data set by doing the exact same process. That's this one is already isolated. Since I already showed you the method of how to find that, I will stay myself muted and not do a voiceover just so you guys can concentrate on what's my procedures when doing bubble sort. Alrighty, we have just sorted our data into numerical order. Let's check it. So in this case, we've got Mira 7.7, .7, uh, Chen 7.8, Nguyen 8.6, Fu 8.8, LaPoint 9.0, Hamilton 9.1, Malonic 9.1, and Vente 9.4, which seems in numerical order to me. So therefore, we have completely and successfully sorted our data using bubble sort. I hope you guys found this useful. Now let's talk about the efficiency and simplicity of bubble sort we can clearly see that bubble sort is very simple all i was doing is comparing values of each other as for coding it it actually just takes a couple lines of code like in python to set up a system like bubble sort unfortunately the downside of bubble sort is inefficiency you've seen that i had to, in the first round i had to compare vente score with every other data point in this case i only had seven other data points to compare it to but imagine you had a library catalog with a hundred books that would take forever if you were trying to compare the ratings of university professors in like a large campus like ucla that would literally take a while and be very inefficient in that case i would suggest using a system like quicksort or even insertion sort which would be quicker than using power sort i hope you guys enjoy learning with me i sure hope you enjoy learning with me remember this data set is theoretical and should not be taken seriously see you later bye